Hi, my name is Holland Day Marche. I've been going to Shiloh a very long time. Um, this spoken word came to me at a very dark time in my life. Um, I had just had my fourth child, Samuel, and knew we were done having children. I had this strange expectation, kind of this false narrative that everything should just stop challenging me at this point. It just felt like problem after problem after problem. And so when I had Samuel, our fourth, um, I had this strange expectation that life should leave me alone almost, that God should stop testing me, challenges should stop coming, and life was gonna be easy. Of course, life wasn't. I had four small children and um, life did what it does and it presented more and more challenges. I'll never have peace again. My life will always be chaotic. There'll never be stillness or rest. I'll never feel full or rejuvenated. And I just kept going down and down and down and till Really, I was found myself at the bottom of a pit. I hardly recognized myself in the mirror. I was anxious, I was depressed, I stopped sleeping well, I stopped eating well. I really was in a hole I'd never experienced myself in. I just remember questioning, why are you doing this to me, God? I don't understand. I've gotten to a place now where I do understand, um, and it feels weird to say that I'm thankful for being brought so low. And I think it took being brought to this incredibly low, broken part to realize that the joy and the peace wasn't gonna come from anything I could do or achieve. It came from a really, really deep realization that if my creator created me to enjoy him and for him to enjoy me, then at the essence of my identity is joy. And so it wasn't so much of an achieving as a letting go and a discovering of who God created me to be. Discontent drips from the corners of lips, a vial of poison from which I take sips. This anxiety, it's choking me into believing that I need a blessing, a miracle receiving. Lord, please, one more. Again and again I take, but the blessings fall short on my lips. It's just never enough. And all I can see is the next thing I feel that I need to be free. I am frozen by fear and I'm shackled by shame. My mouth parts for words that are meant to cast blame. Lord, how can I serve with such a big distraction? If you want to use me, you'll have to take action. The franticness slows and the heartbeats follow. The guilt hits fast and it's hard to swallow. Oh, Father, how many answers do I need until I have trust that won't bend? How many blessings to have hope without end? How many miracles do I need to see before my faith can finally live free? And the answer, it stuns me. So it must come from you. Because the answer I hear is just one. Already done by your son. It's his carpenter hands nailed to a tree. It's his holy blood spilled for the free. It's the earth-shaking depth of it and the death-crushing lengths of it and the parched words declaring it's done. Just one. Oh, but my ears, they are clogged and my mouth, it is stuffed with words that make it seem like your love's not enough. But if I really knew what your love cost and means, I wouldn't be making requests on my knees. No, my mouth would be praise and my mind would be trust. My words declaring only that you are enough. And now I see peace was always there for the taking. So I give up my striving, performing, and faking. Today I am transformed by renewing of mind. Let me never go back to the me left behind. Everything I need has already been done. Every prayer answered, every battle won, every fiber in my being realizes at once that the only miracle I need is the one. The one already done by your son. It's his carpenter hands nailed to a tree. It's his holy blood spilled for the fruit. It's the earth shaking depth of it and the death crushing lengths of it and the parched words declaring it is.
just one.